Hey guys, Sam from Mountfors Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. Okay, so you will be seeing this on Friday. So happy weekend to you all. Anyway, every Friday we jump on and we let you know all the crochet goings on over the past week. This has been a segment on our channel for quite some time now. So if you want to see all our others, please do go back on the channel and find them and mm -hmm. watch them to your heart's content. Um, but yes, normally I start, which I will, and normally I have three or four things. But tonight, guys, I've only got two. And that is because you saw Tired of the Week yesterday. So that was an FO for Mike and I. I cannot show you the have you ever wondered blanket i am joining the squares but obviously that's for a completely different segment on the channel and i do have another fo but you guys cannot see it until sunday so there has been other crochet it's just i cannot share it with you until the right time on the channel hope that makes sense Anyway, the first thing I have to show you this week is, of course, my luck of the draw seven. And here it is. If you're not familiar with luck of the draw seven, it is the brainchild of Nancy over at Nan's Next Knot. If you are not familiar, I will pop her link down in the description box. Please do go check her out. Chuck some yarn in her window, which means subscribe. Click that notification bell. All those wonderful free things. And she will be able to tell you a bit more. But in brief, you pick one main colour that you use every week and then you pick eight other colours and then you go to Nan's channel every Thursday. She will select a number and whatever yarn you have put to that number is the colour you put into your project. Now, it could be anything. It could be a bag, a blanket, a wrap, a shawl. There's been curtains, amigurumi snakes. There is one lovely YouTuber here doing free form crochet and making scrumbles each week. There is all sorts going on in the luck of a draw seven world. And, and what's the scrumble? It's the item you make by doing free form crochet. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, that doesn't explain it, but you know. Okay, so the person doing that is Nova Gnome Creations. If you want to know what that is, go and check out her Luck of the Draw videos and you will find out. Fair enough. It's nothing I've ever done. I have never delved that deep into the crochet world. Um, and I don't believe I have the creativity to pull it off. But Nova is phenomenal. Now that I've mentioned Nova, I will put her down in the description box. Hey, Nova. <laughs> um, because... Even though I'm never going to do it, or never say never, even though I am unlikely to do it, I am finding it fascinating watching hers come together. So if you want something different, definitely go and check that out. And while you're there, check out all her other awesome content because she is pretty amazing. Just saying. So yes, chuck some yarn in Nova's window as well and do all the wonderful YouTube things. So Nan takes the choice out of your hands basically you've picked your eight and your main she will tell you what order to put those into your project which means it is stress-free you just grab the yarn that she has picked and you whack it in your project and then you put it away until the following thursday and it goes on for 20 weeks until um that luck of the draw has ended and at the end of it you have got a lovely project whatever project you have picked to do with very little stress there is a Luck of the Draw blanket, which Mike and I did last time, and there is information about that on Nan's channel. But you don't have to do that. Like I said, you could do any project you like. And actually, some of the mosaic bags that have been whipped up, I have to tell you, are very lovely. And if Nan does a Luck of the Draw 8, I might just be tempted to do a couple of them. Just saying. So my main colour is Mushroom, which is a kind of pinky, purpley brownie um stylecraft special dk absolutely wonderful work ha work horse yarn here in the uk easy for me to say not and the color that was picked last week because of course nan's picked another number which i need to go across and check out is this one on the top guys 
I have picked eight different variegate, variegated or self-striping. Um, and I'm calling this my ugly experiment blanket because I don't know how it's going to end up at the end. And I'm doing a row of half double, a row of half double in the third loop, back to a row of half double, and then a final row of half double in the third loop. So each of my colours is four rows. And this is similar to the bloom yarn as it's supposed to make little flowers with the greys. And it is very, very pretty. But because it is self-striping, it is different on the other half because the roses stopped here and this side is all grey. So it is going to look different depending on which part of the blanket I show you. And by doing half double crochets in the third loop, it gives you that ridge on the front that looks a bit like a knit stitch. But it's not, guys. It's all crochet. It is wonderful and it feels really textury and lovely. So that is week 14, I believe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes, fourteen. Only six more weeks to go. Mm. And luck of the draw seven will be complete. And if you are wondering who else is doing luck of the draw seven, at the top of the YouTube search bar, you can put hashtag LOTD or hashtag LOTD7, and everyone that's used that hashtag will pop up. And our camera did something really strange. <laughs> and I hope it's still recording. It looks like it. It is. looks like it, but it did this to me before. And when that happened, there was nothing after it. <laughs> so now I'm like, do we continue and maybe have to refilm? Or do we hope for the best? Um, we'll just hope for the best. <laughs> and then you'll never see this version and we'll go and have our dinner and come back and refill and you'll never know okay so that is, that is luck of the draw seven. <laughs> oh, i hope it's still recording because when you go through it a second time you don't remember all the little details you said the first time anyway go check man out go check nova out it's super fun and the only reason why Mike isn't joining along this time is because he has his hug mission and his Amagarumi mission. So. Oh, yes. But he did have fun last time. I did. Right, and the last thing I can show you is a new whip. Yes, I'm naughty. I've got whips I need to finish, but I've got startitis. And for this, I am using yarn from my stash. So I can put hashtag shop my stash 2023 in this title of this video too, which I am super happy about. My beautiful friend, Christina Bella Unginetto. If you don't know Christina, I'll also put her link down below. And guys, she's still desperately trying to get to 1K. Her son is now in Italy with her, but he doesn't leave for a couple of months. And we need to get her to 1K before he leaves. Because he thinks people don't care about yarn and crochet. It's not important. Nobody's interested. We all know for a fact that that is untrue. We are trying to make him eat his words. Because when she gets to 999, he will be her 1,000 subscriber. And he will go live with her. And hey, needs to be done before he goes back to America. Okay? So if you don't know Christina, please do go check her out for that reason. But also, because she has a wonderful Yarny channel, she shows us hauls, whips, FOs, um, subscription boxes that she gets from Letha Co. She started a new segment on her channel where she's going back through the history of how the fibre arts began. She's shown us a bit around Italy because she only recently moved there. She has a bit of everything. And she also does shorts of walking her cat Nero on a leash around her garden. They're pretty cool. Check them out too. And she's just a fabulous f person. She's one of my friends. So please go check her out. Anyway, she gifted me these back last year. She went to Michael's, I believe. I went shopping. And it was for my birthday. Not this year, but last year. So these have been on my shelf for quite a while. And I did get three. The other one I've already put in my project, which I'll show you in just a minute. But these are the Karen Cotton Funnel Cakes. I don't know if you can still get these or not. They are this bumpy type yarn. You see the little bumps in the string there. 
but they are 100% cotton, 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams, 425 yards or 389 meters, medium weight number four, 4.5 knit and needle, 5 mil hook, uh, machine washable and dryable, do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean, made, where are you made? Tell me where you made. Made in China and it is in the colour rose petal. It's got some peaches and some pinks and some greys. Absolutely gorgeous. And for this project I am using a 5.5. Well, I'm using a 5.5 now. When I first started this project I was using a 5 and I was wondering why it was coming out a little bit small. That would be because Sam you were supposed to use your 5.5. So I've now got my 5.5 millimetre clover. This is all of the first cake that I have left, so not a lot. And what am I making? I am making myself a t-shirt. Because the beautiful Linan over at Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm doubting myself now. It's definitely Nina's Knots. I'll link Linan down in the description box. If you're not familiar, go check her out too. Again, awesome channel, loads of yarn hauls. Her hook has sparks flying off it, the amount of projects that she gets done. Um, she lives in Florida, amazing lady, truly inspirational, another great friend of mine. So check her out as well. But she is doing hashtag Tanks and Tees 2023. So this is going to be my t-shirt to go in for Linan's hashtag and Lenan is doing it alongside Jackie who is crochety HD that's crochet eight zero HD and I will link her down below check her out she's a pretty cool lady as well um Lenan if you're watching hey and Jackie I don't believe we've met but because I've tagged you if you're watching hey <laughs> and Hi. this is what I have got so far and looking at it through the camera the colour pooling is gorgeous I am very very happy with that am I showing you I'm showing you the back of course I am let's try that way guys absolutely beautiful I just have a couple of more rows to do then I will make my neckline and then I'll make a panel exactly the same then I've got to seam it all together and pop my sleeves on. So I reckon I'm about a third of the way being ambitious, maybe a quarter of the way. But this is a bag of day pattern and off the top of my head, I cannot remember what the bag of day pattern is, but I will link it down below. So if you guys want to make the same t-shirt as me, you can by following brilliant tutorial. We all know bod does amazing tutorials she has over 1100 of them on her channel she's got loads to choose from so if you don't like this one do another one and we all know bag a day i will link bag a day but i doubt she'll watch um which is absolutely fine she's a busy busy lady um but check her out if you don't know um but that is the majority of my first panel guys it's just a rectangle at the minute, but it will be a beautiful t-shirt at some point. And because it's cotton, it's going to be lovely for the spring slash summer. And it will be the first non-vest or cardigan that I've made for myself. Like a different type of wearable, an everyday wearable for the summer. Obviously, I'll take it off and wash it. If I'm super proud of it, you might be seeing a lot of me in this filming over the summer, if we ever get a summer, because... It's starting to warm up. You know. So yes, cotton funnel cakes, don't know if they're discontinued or not, but if you've got some in your sash, beautiful. The only thing that I would be mindful of is it might be a slightly heavier t-shirt. It's not going to be light and airy, it's not a chain spun, it's quite a dense cotton, but that's okay for me. Because I like, even in the summer, I get really chilly because my, well, not Mike, but 
there are people in my life that think I'm a reptile, not a human. <laughs> Which is fine, because I get cold when everyone else is a sweaty mess. I don't know what it is about me. And no, it's not my thyroid. I've had my thyroid checked. Um, but yes, so I should have just enough with three. Let's see Spot if it on. actually works out. So come back next Friday and there might be a little bit more of this t-shirt done if not completed you never know so luck of the draw seven tanks and tees 2023 alongside hashtag shop my stash 2023 an fo that you'll see on Sundays to keep your eye out for that and whenever I get that blessed blanket done for have you ever wondered that will pop up but probably not for another few weeks yet because to be perfectly frank I'm finding it tedious and I'm not enjoying it so it'll get done when it gets done. Anyway, over to Mike. Over to me. Right, my first pattern. I say pattern, it's not my pattern. It's... Pattern. Obsessive Crochet Ladies. Yes. Pattern. Who's real name? Yeah, it's Amanda, that's right. And it is one of the my favourite patterns. Yes. I am enjoying it. How can the folks get their hands on it, Mike? The folks can get their hands on it when if we link the email for Amanda well, down or for the patterns, shall I say? I can't link it. Or type it yeah. in the description. Mm -hmm. Then if you email that email address with how do I get this pattern? How do I get the feeling fancy the shawl? The feeling fancy shawl pattern. Yeah. And Amanda will tell you. And then pay you money here pay money here once and you've paid you poof, get the pdf pdf straight away and i printed it off yes. but i got about four or five rows in mm -hmm. and i've learned the pattern yes so i can do it off the top of my head until i get to the frilly end then i have we to read it again we haven't done the lacy edge yet so no. i will link amanda obsessive crochet lady uh, check her content out because she has wonderful content too. She also does a weekly live on a Sunday at 12.30pm Eastern. Although, FYI guys, Amanda is not going live this Sunday as it is Mother's Day in the US this uh, Sunday. So happy early Mother's Day happy to Mother's all Day. you US and anyone else that celebrates Mother's Day on Sunday. So she, you will be seeing this on Friday. So she will actually be going live today at 2pm yes. Eastern. So, if you are free at 2 p.m. Eastern, then make your way over to Amanda's channel and um, join in the fun with her. And that should be about 7 p.m. here. So, if Amanda wants me, I can come up on panel if she wants. So, I'll message her later and see if that's going to happen. But no promises, just in case she wants it to be just her, which is fine as well. Join her channel, go to her live, ask her for a pattern. Because how much is it, Mike? It's a steal four dollars fifty so at that price guys you need to have it in your yes. pattern stash you really really do it's very affordable very affordable it's very beginner friendly and yes. i love it exactly and it makes beautiful hugs it makes beautiful hugs makes beautiful hugs to gift um and it helps our friend amanda out yes. if you buy it so please please and, do and and if you do buy this pattern and you do fall in love with it mm -hmm. there is a second pattern coming she is in the middle of writing another pattern which so i am very excited about and we I are both be buying because i tested the feeling fancy and i enjoyed it mike enjoys it she might ask me to test this next one too when she's written it which i will be more than happy to do and i will pay um, for them. and then mike will pay for one because obviously they're that good. yeah i get it for testing it mm. mike can buy his own um yeah, so that's all about Amanda. Don't forget, live today, 2 p.m. Eastern, if you've got nowhere else to go. She'd really love your company, and she is a lovely, lovely person. And subscribe to her channel. Chuck yarn in her window. I'll shut up and let Mike talk about yes. what he needs to talk Thank about. You. Right, so the, the yarn I'm using Oops, sorry, is uh, the Sultan Deluxe Shine. Yeah. Look at the sparkle. Mm -hmm. um, you can't see the first colour, because all you can see is my fingers, because yeah. I've used it all. Um, so it was like a, well, you'll see it in the shawl in a minute, but it sort of ombres out to the dark. And Lilac to blue. I'm going to get to about, let's do it this side because you see better, about yeah. here. Yeah. And then that will be the lacy edge. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, f I'm not far. Not I'm, far. I'm not far at all. And it is Cotton Kings from Hobie. At um, a push, I say about five more rows. 
at a push. Mm, maybe a bit more than that. It does it does go quite far. We'll see. Um, it's 250 grams, approximately a thousand meters, uh, which is a hundred or oh, a thousand and ninety three yards. Sorry, it is ninety six percent cotton, four percent polyester, which, which is, is the shine. Cool. Yeah. It recommends a four three point five to four millimeter hook and a two point five to three mill three point five sorry millimeter knitting needle. It's a too fine weight. Uh, can be washed at 30 degrees C. No bleach, no tumble dry, no iron. It can be dry cleaned. I still don't know what that one that is. That means lay flat to dry. Lay flat to dry. I learned it. There you go. <laughs> Only because it was on one of my new uh, skeins of yarn that I bought. And if you want to get this colour, it is colour 27. You will have to go onto the Hobie website to find what it's called because mm -hmm. they don't describe it on the the ball band but it's beautiful yarn it's beautiful and it's really good to work with and so soft so soft and it's made in turkey yes so that's that now let's see it it's getting rather big and i did stitch mark it because last time i didn't show it so i left it where it was but there is the feeling fancy show and as you can see there's the first color which is sort of lilac and it's going down into that blue and the stitch marker is there so i managed to do Five rows? Four. One, two, three, four. Because stitch mark is on that one. It's at the end of that one. Oh, so yeah, five. Five rows. And there you go. That is so beautiful. And if but, you look close, you can see the ridges. Yeah. And it goes all the way down. And that will be the ombre. It's yeah. going to just get it's darker. It's going to get darker and, and darker, darker. But the lacy edge will be the dark part. Yeah. And I am loving every minute of it. The drape on it is amazing. Yes, it what is. hook are you using? I'm using a four millimeter clover. Yep. Um, it was recommended to me by Amanda herself yep. to use a four. And a four mil uh, with a two weight does create that beautiful drape. Yeah, but because I crochet fairly tight with this one, I haven't. I have watched my tension on this yeah. one. But it's beautiful. Um, Absolutely beautiful. It's drapey, but not wholly in my opinion the just, drape just means that the fabric yeah. is movable and not like stiff and solid yeah. there is nothing stiff and solid but about that although you can see through it a little bit it's not as i was thinking there'd be more gaps but there isn't mike's so. not a fan of holy crochet no i like it neat yeah um but yeah that's my first you can pack thing that to show away you. in a sec i'll pack it away in a sec then. yep <laughs> <laughs> well, we've already been here 22 minutes. Okay, right, so my next tea's one... tea's in the oven! <laughs> or my dinner, next one, sorry. Uh, I didn't grab the pattern, so I can't show you the picture. I'll grab it. Well, Manfred's going to grab it quickly. But back. the first ball of yarn I used on this next one, which is an amigurumi, uh, is this Stylecraft Aran. It's 100% premium acrylic. Uh, it can be washed at 30 degrees C, cool tumble dried, cool ironed, and it can be dry cleaned. It recommends a five hook, but I'm using a four. It recommends a five needle. It is obviously special DK Aaron, no, special Aaron, sorry, 100 grams, and it is Aster. And this was on the beginning part of this middle coup. Or cow. So it's by Cottontail Whiskers. Cottontail Whiskers, and he is called Haggis because he's the middle one. So the big one is Tunnock, the middle one is Haggis, and the small one is Midge, Midge. and they are the Highland Coos. Yeah. And you do get the sizes for all three in this one pattern. And this one, this colour was used on the hoofs. Yep. And now this colour. Can you remember how much this pattern was? It is a paid for pattern, guys. Uh, Six dollars something, I believe. If I can find it, no, I'll link it down that's below. That's a lie. It's a bit more than that. It was six pounds something. So about eight dollars yeah, roughly. US. So if I can find it, I will link it. It is on Ravel, uh, Etsy. Okay. That's where I got it from. So I'm using this as the main body of the cow. Mm-hmm. Um, it is French Navy it's again, Aaron. So navy. you know the specs. Mm -hmm. um, but it's French Navy. Yeah. And I am still attached with this one. So. In the last one, you saw me do his legs and attach them. Uh, this time, I have done, uh, stuffed them 
and put the beginnings of his hair. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's so the dark. Light there we go. Is, there we go. You can see the curls. Now yeah. this is sort of down a bit. It's supposed to be up here, but when it I start all, going yeah. a bit more, it will bring it all in together. When he shapes the body, it but will all pull up. There's where the it's hoofs, to be. and they are movable because. But last week, guys, he literally just had four stubby legs. Yes, and he's now, now got a hairy beast. To begin and that in. was five rows. Yes. So, lots of progress on the mm. Highland Coup as well. Like yes. I said, if I can find it, I will link it, but beware that it is a paid-for pattern. It is a paid-for pattern. Um, it's a very good pattern. Yeah. I'm enjoying it, actually. It's more intermediate than the amigurumis I'm used to so far, but yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Take it slow and steady yeah. and step-by-step, step and it's really manageable. Really enjoying it. Yeah. So, that is the catch-up of yeah. all our crochet this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We are going to shoot off because our dinner is in the oven and I don't want it to burn. So, sorry to make this a, a quick exit, but, you know. Bye. We've got hungry <laughs> kiddies that need feeding. But, yes, thank you so much for coming today and uh, catching up on all our crochet shenanigans. Don't forget, 2 p.m. today, Eastern, head over to Amanda's Obsessive Crochet Ladies channel and enjoy her live as there will be there will not be one this sunday tomorrow on this channel there is another happy mail video and then we shall be going live normal time at 4 p.m eastern or 9 p.m uk mm -hmm. depending on where you are and then sunday there is the mysterious fo that i need to show to you and then you know there's daily content here at Mountford's Make, so just keep tuning in every day and yep. there'll be something here for you to watch. Check it out. We really do enjoy having you. Mm -hmm. Please do continue to pop over and please do come to our live on Saturday night. They are a lot, a lot of fun and we enjoy them very, mm -hmm. very much. I might pop onto Amanda's panel. It depends whether she lets me or not. So if you want to see Amanda, head over. If you want to see me, maybe head over to Amanda. 2 p.m. Eastern this afternoon. Right, guys, we're going. Until we see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Be kind. Look after one another. Get some good quality time in with your loved ones. Get some good quality crafting time in. We will see you in the next one. All around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys. Bye. Love ya.